Britain could be facing an unprecedented onslaught of illegal migrants crossing the English Channel this summer. I know, you're probably thinking, how much worse can it really get? Well, the answer is a lot. Because French officials are warning of a worsening crisis. Just days after five migrants sadly died in an overloaded dinghy, and with hijackings now, hijackings becoming a serious issue across the Channel, a member of the French police union has said... There are five companies of French National Police, about 350 personnel, normally dedicated to the fight against illegal immigration, who will not be available this summer because they are being requisitioned for the Olympics. How are we going to do it? So the mayor of the French town, Rimeru, not fluent, the scene of Tuesday's tragedy added, the period of the Olympic Games is on everyone's mind along with this coast. We're concerned that policing will be severely impacted. We need men, we need arms. If there had been a sufficient police presence, this tragedy would not have happened. So this concerning news does come the same day as the safety of Rwanda bill received official royal assent, but will it help stop the small boats? Keir Starmer doesn't seem to think so, obviously. The government has lost control of the borders. But this Rwanda gimmick is not the way to stop it. It cost an absolute fortune, £300 million already, another £50 million either this week or next, to remove a few hundred people. That's a drop in the ocean. Right, so, look, in a nutshell... At the kind of peak migrant season across the Channel, it does look as though the French are going to be removing people from those beaches and sending them to Paris, which I think we can all agree bodes really well for us. I'm delighted to welcome Tory MP Jack Brereton. Jack, look, thank you very, very much. Are the French fueling Britain's migrant crisis? I mean, are you particularly concerned about this? What should they do? Well, it, it is very concerning, and particularly given, you know, we've actually put resources towards the French, towards this, they should be using those resources uh, to ensure that there is a proper police presence. So I do uh, think it's absolutely shocking that we're hearing uh, these suggestions. I mean, they, we just, do they care? You know, we, we've sent them however many hundreds of million pounds that we have. The Olympics take place in Paris. They go, all right, we'll leave the beaches and we'll just go and, and guard the Stade de France or wherever it's taking place. You, you think, you know, this is going to be a nightmare for us. We're going to see thousands coming across. Well, I think, you know, the fact that we've done huge amounts, actually, to try and uh, support these efforts to deter uh, migrants, we've seen, obviously, the Rwanda bill that's come forward in the last uh, few mm. days, this is offering proper deterrence uh, to those illegal migrants crossing the channel. That's what we absolutely need. And the concerns here are that actually the French uh, don't really want to uh, take the action that we are seeing, uh, you know, further efforts to uh, abandon uh, all this and, and move more migrants to the UK. And, and that we have to put in place the proper deterrence. That's the yeah. only way. No, what, what, about, what about a bit of threatening diplomacy? Hey, Jack, you know, what I say to the French, well, we've given you 500 million quid or however much we've given you. If you're mm. going to down tools and go and police the Olympics instead of the beaches, then for that period of time, we'll tow them back. Well, I think, you know, the, the reality is that um, we've done a huge amount already. We've put in place a number of measures that have seen reductions in the numbers of migrants coming over here. We've already seen a significant Sorry. reduction this year. So about We've not seen a significant... Sorry, we've not seen a significant reduction this year. We are up on the number of this time last year. So, so in the last 12 months, we have seen a reduction in the numbers oh. coming across, but we do need to see further action. I'm hoping, obviously, that we will be seeing flights taking off very soon to Rwanda because we need that deterrence as soon as possible if we're going to continue to see the reduction that needs to happen. But for Labour to just say that this is a gimmick is, quite frankly, a disgrace. They voted... 139 times against any measures to de to deter illegal migration. They yeah. haven't. Can I, can I just, no just, just, I just, I do, look, you know, I do, do really have to correct you on something. A record number of migrants have crossed the English Channel so far this year. That is according to provisional Home Office figures. Some 4,600, this was on the 27th of March, by the way, so it's way up since, since, since that now. Uh, 4,644 made the same journey uh, in 2024, a record for the first three months of a calendar year. So, uh, you know, I, I mean, you've, it's not it's not been working. We've been lobbing a load of money at the French. The French don't care. They're going to go and protect the Olympics. In the last, in the last 12 months, we've seen about around a 45% uh, 
reduction in the number of crossings because of the actions that we've been taking. If we look at Albanians, it's 90% down because of the, the agreement that we got with Albania. And we need to do more of that. That is the sort of things that we have been doing, try and reduce the numbers coming across. We've put in place a number of measures in France. There is more cooperation that is happening now between the NCA and the, the counterparts in France. And we actually have that dialogue happening. But to have this now, I think is, is a retrograde step, and we don't need to see this. We need to ensure that we see an increased police presence. We've put massive resource into this, which is uh, nearly double the amount of uh, French police yeah. on the beaches. In I mean, this is this is ex this, this is this is absolutely existential for Rishi Sunak and James Cleverley. As it as it currently stands, as it currently stands for this period that we've had. In the, in the year at the moment, we are at we are at record levels, right? So, if that continues, and if we end up at peak season with the French off to the Olympics, you know, watching the old hundred meters and whatever, and you end up with with Rwanda, but the migrants realise on the other side of the beach, which they'd be well within the rights to realise that actually they could just overwhelm you because you know if they can all come through at peak season, that is it. That is curtains for Rishi Sunak, isn't it? So what does he do? Does he pull us out of the ECHR and just fly them back to whatever country they've come from and do it sharpish, or does he turn the boats back? Because I don't see another solution. I think I think we need, I mean, I've called for increased detention facilities, and that's what we are now delivering. We need to have an increase in those facilities, because it isn't just about Rwanda. We need to have those facilities obviously ready, and that's what I, I'm assured is happening mm. now. We're getting an increase. But then in we accept them, though, don't we? Ready it, to go. Yeah. Is that, not, is that not a problem, though? It's all right. We can have increased detention facilities, so they're not in migrant hotels. Fine, great. But then they're just yeah, languishing those down, and we accept facility. them about uh, those holding areas so that we can fly them out either to uh, back to their own country if it's safe or to a safe third country and i hope that we can actually see now we've delivered rwanda actually see more of those schemes because a lot of those other countries who we've been having discussions with mm. were waiting for rwanda to get rwanda working so i'm hoping now we are going to see other schemes with other third countries so that we can see more of that because then we can further increase that proper deterrent. Yeah. Uh, today, a man was found guilty. He'd been through 13 different European countries, apparently, uh, from Morocco, this chap, was found guilty of uh, stabbing a 70-year-old man to death outside a migrant hotel as he went on a, uh, a morning walk. All right. Um, yeah, we're hearing a lot of, we're hoping that we're going to do this. We're hoping we're going to get flights off the ground. We're hoping, you know, that this, that and the other is going to happen. Do you think people understand Dare I say, do you think politicians understand that people like me and members of the public are, are threatened by some of these people? This is, this is a, a threat to our safety. And, and it doesn't, I, I do put it to you, it doesn't really look like politicians get that. OK, well, it doesn't... I, you know, the reality is that lefty lawyers have defended uh, murderers and rapists staying in the country. This is the sort of people that are backed by the Labour Party. And we have seen this repeatedly. You know, as I say, the Labour Party have repeatedly voted against measures to remove murderers and rapists from the country. Um, and this is what we've allowed to happen. Mm. And the, the problem's been that we've seen the, the, the Lords have repeatedly prevented us from delivering Rwanda. Thankfully, now, we've been, they've given way and we've managed to get that through. But we have faced these repeated challenges by lefty mm. lawyers in the courts I hope that we will now get on and deliver Rwanda as soon as possible because we need that proper deterrence mm. in place so that we can actually ensure that illegal migration is properly dealt with. Yeah, look, for all the criticism of this Rwanda plan, I've dished it out myself. There is, look, I mean, anecdotal evidence that it may, there may be uh, some elements of it working, I suppose. We've had some interviews in recent days with people who've just landed on our shores saying if they'd have known about Rwanda, they never would have come. There's, apparently, we're uh, helping to flood the Republic of Ireland with some of these people as well now, potentially fleeing the Rwanda scheme. So you never know, the Rwanda thing might work, but yeah, like I was saying before, right at peak crime, Crossing time, it looks as though, unfortunately for us, despite the hundreds of millions, the French are just going to swan off and watch the Olympic Games and not the beaches. But look, Jack, thank you very much. It is a pleasure to have you on the show. I really appreciate you coming on, especially at this time of night. And um, we'll we'll pick this up another time. That's Tory MP Jack Barrett in there. Thank you very, very much.